We've spent the past six weeks contemplating the outcome for the UK general election. We have heard from all of the main parties on their policies, how they would govern and their respective positions in Brexit. Poll indications have fluctuated. It is evident that voter political allegiances are more fluid and unpredictable than in the past. This is now evident in the result. We have the Conservative Party securing one of their strongest mandates in recent history. A key part of the general election is focused on Britain's relationship with Europe, the Conservative Party focusing on getting Brexit done. With this strong mandate, we will move forward to the next phase, a negotiated agreement for the exit of the UK from the EU by the end of 2020. This result is a clear positive for UK assets. Sterling has strengthened approximately 2% relative to the dollar and about 1.8% relative to the euro this morning. The UK equity market has opened stronger and as would be expected, the bond market is weaker. A measure of uncertainty has been removed, reducing the political risk premium, particularly for certain sectors. The need for fiscal stimulus has been a key component of the Conservative campaign. Infrastructure investment will now be enacted, supporting the UK economy and growth. Throughout this period, we have been discussing with our managers how they are positioning our funds for the various possible election outcomes. Our managers, they've recognised the value opportunity and have become more constructive on the outlook for UK assets. We know that the UK has been one of the least favoured markets for global investors, a situation that we expect this election result to start to alter. Turning now to the US, a key concern for markets through the past 12 months has been the ongoing uncertainty surrounding negotiations between the US and China on a trade deal. Overnight, we have heard that an agreement has been reached. This is important because this weekend would have seen the imposition of a new wave of US tariffs totaling 160 billion on primarily consumer goods from China. Once confirmed, this will represent a significant positive remove a material risk that has not just impacted Chinese and US companies, but has been felt globally because of the interconnectedness of global trade. This should benefit global growth, lower perceived risk, reducing demand for the safe haven dollar. The weaker dollar will therefore help US stocks by boosting their overseas profits and delivering earnings growth. So in conclusion, Two of the risk factors that have been concerning markets through 2019 have dissipated. Our managers are well positioned to navigate through 2020 with diversification at the core of our approach, ensuring our clients are able to do more with their money.